Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be making some keto carrot cake. I'm going to start out with one third cup of butter. Mine is melted, but you can use softened butter. And I am going to add in my monk fruit sweetener and four whole eggs. Make sure the eggs are at room temperature, that way they don't clump up the butter and the sugar. Just whisk everything together and make sure everything is well incorporated and then add in about one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So then we need three teaspoons of unsweetened almond milk. Make sure that your almond milk is also at room temperature. Then add in one and a half cups of almond flour. And you are going to also need two tablespoons of coconut flour. So the coconut flour is going to help absorb our wet ingredients. So we don't need that much of it, but it's going to help get that thick, batter consistency. We're also going to put in our baking powder our cinnamon and nutmeg. So here you can also add in allspice or pumpkin spice. It's just a matter of preference, but nutmeg and cinnamon together for me is great. So then we are going to add in our key ingredient, which is shredded carrots. We're going to use one cup, but please, when you're measuring it out, don't pack it down into your measuring cups. So just fold it into your batter and once you have folded that in, you can add in, which is optional, one quarter cup of unsweetened shredded coconuts and you can add in your walnuts at this time or you can either opt for putting it in your batter or put half in your batter and then um, save some of it for topping your cake. So I just have my lined loaf pan with parchment paper and our batter should be rich, creamy, and thick. So just try to even out the batter, that way it's cooked evenly. And I am putting more walnuts on the top of my cake. Or you can also wait till it's done cooking and once we make our cream topping, you can place the walnuts on top of the cream. So we are going to bake this at 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. So now we are going to be making our topping, our cream topping. This is just softened butter. 
and we want to whisk it until it almost doubles in size as in it's going to be fluffy it's going to be creamy and airy that's what we are looking for So now we are going to add in our powdered sugar replacement, which is Swerve. And I only added in one tablespoon. That was enough sweetness for me, but if you have like a major sweet tooth, you can also combine with liquid stevia or liquid monk fruit or just add another tablespoon or half a tablespoon of the powdered sweetener. And then, once we have our sugar incorporated, we are going to add in two ounces of the Philadelphia cream cheese and whip together. So that alone is a great option for like the frosting. Or you can do what I am about to do and add in some lime juice the lime juice is giving cheesecake vibes so that will be delicious now once our cake has cooled down we will just remove from the pan and with the spatula you can put it on top of your cake or like I mentioned before if you want it to go on smoother don't top your cake with the walnuts until after the frosting That is it for our keto carrot cake. I hope you enjoy. It is amazingly delicious. 